Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to go the entire distance. In other words, we're going to start with a 2x2 two two matrix. We're going to find both of the eigenvalues. We're going to find the basis for each of the eigenvalues. We're going to find the associated eigenvectors. And then we're going to show that they are linearly independent and that they span the vector space. So here we're getting a fairly good view of how to do all that and what those terms actually mean. Starting with that, what we're going to do is we're going to subtract a lambda from the diagonals and take the determinant of that and set it equal to zero. We're going to take uh, the following minus seven minus lambda, six minus nine and eight minus lambda and take that determinant and set it equal to zero and solve for lambda. We should get two values the two eigenvalues of this matrix. So that means that minus seven minus lambda, multiply times eight minus lambda, and subtract from that six times a minus nine should equal zero. Multiplying the lambdas together, we get lambda squared. We get a plus seven lambda and a minus eight lambda, that would be a minus lambda, and minus 56 minus times the minus is plus 54 equals zero. And let's see here, that's simplified as lambda squared minus lambda minus two equals zero. And that looks like it can be factored. So we get lambda minus two times lambda plus one equals zero, which means that the two eigenvalues, lambda one is equal to two and lambda two is equal to negative one. So there are the two eigenvalues. We now find the associated eigenvectors with those. Starting with lambda sub 1 equals 2, we subtract lambda sub 1 from the diagonals, and we multiply that matrix times the eigenvector. So we get minus 7 minus 2, that's minus 9, 6 minus 9, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So we multiply that vector, or I should that matrix, times x and y, that's the eigenvector, and set it equal to the zero vector. Okay, right away we realize that when two of the rows are the same, we can eliminate one of the rows. We're gonna write that in the, row, the reduced row echelon form if possible. So this is the augmented matrix with zero zeros there. We have a minus six, nine and a six, and this disappears, becomes zero, zero. We can also divide the first row by three, so then we can write this as minus three, two, and zero, 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 which means to find the eigenvector for this particular eigenvalue, lambda equals one, and we might as well write that, lambda sub one equals, I should say, two. And that means that three minus three x plus two y equals zero, or three x equals two y, which means that x equals two, and y equals three, which means that our first vector is equal to two and three. All right, now we're going to do it again for the second eigenvalue, lambda sub two equals minus one. That came from over here. And so we subtract a minus one from the diagonals, which is really add, adding a one to the diagonals, which means that the matrix becomes minus seven plus one is minus six and six and the next one is going to be minus 9 and 9. And we multiply that times x and y and set that equal to the zero vector. Now again, if you look carefully, if we multiply the top row by 1.5, we get the bottom row, so they're essentially the same rows. We can eliminate one of them and divide the top by sixes, so this could be solved by writing this as a minus 1, 1, and zero, 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 zero. So we eliminated the second row because they're identical rows. And then we can see that we can divide the top row by a six to get negative one, one, and zero, which means that negative x plus y equals zero, or x equals y, which means we can set them both equal to one, which means our second vector, the second eigenvector associated with this eigenvalue is equal to one and one. Now, are those two vectors linearly independent? And the answer is yes, because there's no way that you can multiply this vector by any constant to get this vector. So multiply this times a two, you get a two in the top and a two in the bottom. You cannot 
multiply this by any constant and get the second vector, so they're linearly independent. But can we also show that they span the space? Now, the space consists of these two columns right here. In other words, if I take my two vectors, and so let me take my second vector here, so I take some constant times v2, I'm going to put this one first because that makes it a little bit easier, plus b times v1, that should equal the two columns of my original matrix. So let's start with the matrix 6 and 8. And if I plug down the values in here, so I have some constant a times 1, 1, plus some constant b times 3, 2, 3, oop, I don't need a line there, 2, 3, that should equal 6 and 8. Are there such values? Can I find an a and a b, some constants, so that when I multiply this together, I get 6 and 8. And simply by inspection, you can see that if I let a equal 2, and b equal 2, I think that will do it. Let's see. So 2 times 1 and 1 plus 2 times 2 and 3 is equal to 2 plus 4, which is 6, and 2 plus 6, which is 8. And sure enough, that does the trick. So I am able to do that. Can I do it for the other column? Let's try. So I multiply something by 1, 1 plus something else times 2, 3, and I should get the following, negative 7 and negative 9. Hmm, let's see here. Again, by inspection, there's a technique on how to do that, but I simply want to see if we could do this by inspection. If I multiply this times a minus 3, so minus 3, and this times a minus 1, let's see if we get that. So again, I'm going to call this A and B, so let's call this A plus B, and now, to find it by inspection, equals, so 1, 1, 2, and 3. If I multiply this times the negative 1, and this plus a negative 3, let's see what we get. So that's negative 1 plus a negative 6 is a negative 7. And that's a negative 1 plus a negative 3. That doesn't do it. That didn't hmm. give me the right number. Hmm. How about if I make this a 3 and a 2? Let's try that. So minus 2, minus 3, and minus 2. There we go. I think that does it. Minus 3 times 1 is minus 3. Minus 4 is minus 7. Minus 3 plus a minus 6 is a minus 9. And sure enough, so the two sets of values are a and b being 2 and 2, and a and b being minus 3 and minus 2, which shows that we're spanning the vector space. You can actually use a technique to solve that. For example, you can say that you're looking for a and b to get 6 and 8. So that means that you're looking for a plus 2b to be equal to 6 and a plus 3b to be equal to 8. And you're going to solve these two equations simultaneously. You can do that by making an augmented matrix. When you do that, you get the following. You get 1, 1, 2, 3, and 6 and 8. We're going to eliminate this one here by saying I'm taking row 2, row 2, and replacing it by negative row 1 plus row 2. When I do that, I get the following. I get 1, 2, and 6. Here this becomes 0. Minus 2 plus 3 is 1. Minus 6 plus 8, which is 2. Since I have a 1 here, I'm going to eliminate this 2. I can do that by taking row 1 and replacing it by negative 2 times row 2, adding it to row 1. When I do that, I get the following matrix. Not a lot of room left, but I think I can fit this. So this will be 0, 1, and 2. This is still a 1. So minus 2 times this added to that gives me 0. Minus 2 times this is minus 4 added to 6, which is 2, which means, based upon that, the values I'm looking for, A and B, are determined that A equals 2 and B equals 2. So what we're doing here is we're solving this as a system of linear equations, 2 by 2, and we can then find the values of A and B if in each case I can show that some combination of a constant times the two vectors in the, in the basis here, if I can multiply this times two constants and get the original matrix back, 
then I know that I'm spanning the vector space. That's what we mean by that. So here is how we find the eigenvalues, the eigenvectors, which form the basis of the vector space. And then we can also show that the individual vectors are linearly independent and that they span the vector space. And that's how it's done.